today is Friday, September 18th, 2015, and I'm currently 18 weeks pregnant. So the baby is the size of a sweet potato, and it's about 5.6 inches in length, and it should be like about the size of my hand or a little bit bigger. And um, when I first uh, became 18 weeks pregnant this week, I noticed that my belly was starting to get harder, which is like round and hard instead of like mushy and soft. So that was super cool. That, that's an awesome feeling this week that I felt and I, th I thought that was pretty amazing. It actually feels like I have an ab, like one ab, like it's hard and I'm like, whoa, I've never felt this before. <laughs> But yeah, that's been uh, truly awesome. Um, I started to feel a little bit more movements this week, so I can feel like just something. I, you can't really explain how it feels, but mothers know how it feels to be pregnant, and um, they understand that. But it's so hard to explain, like that just like amazing feeling inside your stomach, and you're just like, whoa, like it's moving. This is crazy. And I think I felt the baby kick a few times this week. I remember one time I was I was having a sad moment and I was laying on the couch and I had my hand over my belly and it was almost immediate that once I put my hand on my belly and I became still and silent then the baby kicked mommy and was like hang in there mom everything's gonna be okay <laughs> um, I just want to say that uh, this week just like all the other weeks it's nothing new and exciting but I've been extremely tired and uh, I'm just trying to stay strong and I just want to make a note to any women out there who are pregnant and who feel like they're guilty for sleeping a lot and who feel that they are um, you know just like having a dramatic life change because it is it's a huge life change it's a huge sacrifice you're basically sacrificing your life for nine months to carry life into this world to carry a baby to grow a human right so for all you women who are currently pregnant and who are struggling with that i just want you to know you're not alone it is normal i'm on some mom sites and a lot of moms talk about them struggling with this too that they just feel you know like they're not as productive or they're just all they do is sleep and eat and they feel like they don't really have a life anymore and all, and all they can do is is really just relax and and try to work through you know the hormones that they're dealing with so I just wanted to to give you guys a hug you know some comfort who are feeling really frustrated with um, with being like kind of you know just bedridden and stuck in bed all the time especially when it's sunny out it's beautiful out you know there's a lot of beautiful things happening in the world but what you're doing is so important you're growing a human and that is the most beautiful thing and not everybody gets to do that so I just want to remind myself and remind the other women out there that we are really blessed and we have to keep on reminding ourselves that when we're struggling um another thing I really want to talk about this week is the hormones um the pregnancy hormones I remember hearing about them when I was before I decided to have a baby and uh I remember like you know there's funny jokes and stuff and like you know um, you just hear about it, right? But you don't know what it is until you experience it. And I just want to share with other moms who are having a hard time with the hormones also that you're not alone. And um, I know it sucks and I know it feels horrible and you feel like you are not yourself. Like you feel like you're just transforming into like a beast and you feel like your emotions are all over the place. You can't control it. Um, and it's, it's extremely difficult. So I understand and I just want to encourage you to hang in there. And um, I just want to say thank you to my friends who have helped me. You know, like I, I don't have any um, close pregnant friends in Halifax, but I have friends on text. So I'm so grateful for that, that I'm able to ask them for advice and how do they get through it and stuff like that. And so I just, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. and baby thanks you <laughs> and uh and i just want to share that um that for anyone who who gives me love <laughs> i just thank you because uh it's been hard <laughs> and here's the hormones <laughs> it's the real deal right here <laughs> there's no uh 
I can't fake, I can't fake anything, you know, like this is, this is what it is, this is pregnancy and I just want this baby to know how much you are so worth it and I wouldn't change anything and baby I love you so much and I can't wait, I can't wait to, to hold you and, and I know that, um, I know it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> I know that the that pain is temporary and I know that these hormones will last forever, although I do hear that when you breastfeed that they they are also um very crazy, so I just feel like like I'm driving everybody crazy <laughs> with my hormones, like who's close to me and it's driving me crazy. So I just apologize for what I'm going through <laughs> I'm sorry I'm crying I never cry on a friggin video <laughs> but you know what this is this is real life this is real talk and um, this is me being being myself and sharing that this is what it's like to be pregnant and it's definitely not easy and um, you really need good supportive people in your life who are who are there for you and who will have your back and who will comfort you and who won't take your hormones personally and who will just love you unconditionally and um that's why I'm very grateful so much when people are so nice to me you know like I have so much uh supportive friends all over the world and you guys don't know how much that means to me like sometimes I read your comments and and your Facebook messages and I start to cry like tears of relief or joy because um these hormones can make you feel really alone and and so misunderstood and and uh I wish I could see my therapist a lot more but she's a very busy woman she's amazing so, um, I just want to share that, uh, hang in there and I wish there was more support groups out there that I could go to, um, with, with feeling so alone. And I know I'm not alone. I know I have a lot of people who love me. Um, but when you're physically alone a lot and, you know, in bed a lot and, and, uh, crying and, and going through stuff like, and you feel like no one understands you, you feel alone, you know, so. Um, another thing that I've been noticing this week is a total loss of appetite, which I don't like. Um, I am still hungry a lot. It's just I don't know what to eat anymore. Like I, I'm running out of ideas and I have zero energy to cook and I have zero energy to meal prep and zero energy to go grocery shopping. And so um, if anybody has any recipe ideas please feel free to message me text me inbox me email me whatever to send me some ideas because I just feel like I'm looking at Instagram and I'm looking at you know recipes and I'm looking for stuff online for ideas for inspiration for food because I'm trying to keep up with this this baby's appetite and the baby needs good food and I'm just losing motivation for for all of it so um, if anyone has any any ideas uh, please shoot them my way. I will save them and and hopefully, you know, just get some energy and and make some good food and uh, I just can't wait. I just totally, I know food adversities is a common thing for pregnant women, meaning that like sometimes pregnant women just, they don't like what they normally like or whatever they were craving before they don't crave anymore. And so, yeah, so that's what's happening with me and it sucks. Um, I just want to say, Thank you to everybody for the prayers um, and I hope that everything is going to be okay um, despite of all the stress that I'm, I'm going through with this baby. I'm trying my best to stay strong and, uh, and I just really appreciate you guys. I want you guys to know that from the bottom of my heart I, I can feel the love from afar and, and the baby feels it and it's helping us so thank you. And I hope you guys have a good day. And I'm going to show you my belly bump. <laughs> Do you know how it feels to wake up with someone that you love? It feels so real. My angel was sent from above. I love you, my angel. I love you. I can't wait to see your smile. <laughs> You're so worth everything. <laughs>